Good day everyone, I am Ina Chorizo Mi Atison, presenting about PDO, Unibank Incorporated. The company was founded in 1986. Its first corporate office is located in Makati. The previous name of it is Banco de Oro APCI Incorporated. It is the largest bank in the Philippines. It, it is a universal bank which engages in providing financial services to corporate markets and specializes in, in lending, deposit taking, foreign exchange, brokering, trust and investments, credit card, corporate cash management, and remittances in the Philippines. It belongs to SM Group of Companies. It is owned by one of the country's largest conglomerate owned by, a tycoon hen by the tycoon Henry Fundamental analysis of BDO compared to some banks in the financial sector for price over earnings, BDO is a bit expensive than the security bank and metropolitan bank, but cheaper compared to the Bank of Philippine Islands. For the PEG, which also corresponds to the price earnings and growth, BDO is the best buy among the four banks because of its low PEG. For the price O to book ratio, we'll see that the BDO is the second least expensive compared to Security Bank, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and Metro Bank. For the price over sales, we see that BDO is the second to the Metro Bank as the cheapest buy making. BDO generally value wise as good buy in terms of fundamental analysis. Although price over earnings is wise, Banco de Oro is a bit expensive at 18.25 times. We can see that this is due to the tremendous growth of Banco de Oro as the bank. That is why the PEG is the best among the other sectors. Technical analysis. PDO suffered because of the general downturn of stocks around the world last two weeks ago, but then it is now on the uptrend following the tobacco. MACD, the crossover that happened around the beginning of October, it is now on the uptrend and we can see that the MACD is approaching to another crossover, this time on the positive side. So all in all, if you can look at the technical analysis, we see that video has suffered some sell-off last week moves now on the way up. We expect BDO to continue on its general uptrend, long term rise and see BDO going towards around 100 and above. So the recommendation for BDO is for the investor to wait for a while and wait for the stock to go overbought and the oscillator to turn down and once it reached the oversold levels again, around November, December, or even January, that it is the time to enter the market again. BDO is still a long-term price. It is still a fundamental bank. Thank you.